Beginning their check on April 27, 1863, General Joseph Hooker of Massachusetts led his 130,000 Union men to the area of Northern Virginia. Confederate Generals Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson were also preparing their 60,000 soldiers for battle. Some 40,000 Union men crossed the upper river of the Rapidan. Then come April 29th, Major General John Sedgwick's Sixth Corps, in adherence with Hooker's plan, led his men near Fredericksburg and crossed over the Rappahannock River onto General Lee's side. At this time, Lee's men were flanked by Federal troops to the east and west of them. General Hooker's men met at the intersection of Chancellorville, a brick tavern. Feeling confident, the Union soldiers made their first mistake by staying put and not covering more ground east. Stonewall Jackson grabbed the opportunity and in the early hours of May 1st left Fredericksburg and discovered Major General Anderson and McLaw's army, commanding them to prepare for battle. Late in the morning, Hooker eventually ordered his section of men to move east, yet it was already too late as they were met with energized resistance. Shocked, the Union troops took a defensive stance. Daringly, Lee and Jackson decided to split their already smaller army, with 30,000 troops led by Jackson to the defensive flank, and the other 14,000 troops in the opposite direction, in order to distract Hooker. Hooker began to see the ways of the Confederate plan, yet later dismissed it and did not reinforce his weak flank after a small attack on moving Confederate soldiers. Jackson's men traveled 12 miles to their destination, where they set up a front that stretched two miles long. Hooker's men were in short supply, as there were only about two small regiments. Jackson hoped to escape past Tucker's men and aid in taking down the Army of the Potomac. However, whilst riding ahead as to survey, Stonewall Jackson was mistaken for a northerner by a North Carolina troop. Jackson was shot and killed by his own people, and the plans for a night attack were no longer. Confederate commanders needed to reconnect their men at Hazel Grove, and as Hooker instructed his men to surrender the land that was the path for connection, the Confederates had it easy. Cannon fighting commenced at Hazel Grove in the evening, and as battle went on, the Northerners slowly were losing supplies and favorability. Lee was told of threats to the southern end of his troops, yet despite the new plan on the rise, Hooker commanded his men to retreat back across the river. The North was defeated, and the South celebrated a victory.